Doing how the arm's doing, holding that thing around, you know? Doing just fine right now, though that could be hurting in a minute. <laughs> and all the smiling, the jaws must be sore right now. They, um, you don't see me smile too much, so they aren't too bad yet. Well, you know what, I saw a video with you after the second round, you looked pretty pissed. Yeah, I was, I mean, I came off a double on this hole, so I wasn't doing too happy. Yeah, so how are you feeling right now? I feel pretty ecstatic. I mean, back to back was right. even better, and my whole family was here for this one. Last time my mom had to leave early. But it was just great to have the whole fam here and get it done. What was it that made you feel so comfortable on this course aside from the family? Because this is no walk in the park. Yeah, comfortable. I think RJ, I mean, he used to be my old teammate at uh, Pepperdine. And then I was at Washington. That was so nice playing with him. And then Evan Emmerich with um, San Diego State. I mean, I talked to him quite a bit of the day. We're pretty good friends. I almost went there. And I mean, it was just really nice playing with your own teammate, having a really nice coach there. And it's kind of kept me comfortable down the stretch. How do you snap off two in a row? What got into your game? I know you always had it, yeah. but I mean, what what surfaced? Um, good advice from Owen Brown. We played them at Medalist, and it was just unreal. It's just like my mentality is much different. Um, definitely keep it a secret for now, but just keep that mentality the same. Definitely keep even keel. Is definitely really good, and just try to think you can make as many birdies as you can, and just keep grinding. Take take me through a couple of your shots of the day for you. Okay. Um, definitely, really? we'll do eighteen the chip shot. So it was a pretty bad lie into the green, and. Um, yesterday I ended up breaking my 58 out of anger and today I used one of the demos from Pasa and <laughs> put it in the back of my stance and hood it and just hit it like six feet ahead of me and it rolled up really nice to a foot. Yeah. I mean it was so nice 17, 18 having one footers for par because grinding all day for that stuff. So what did you, you hit it? What did you hit off the tee box on 17 and what did you have coming in and what did you hit? So on, on uh, 17 I hit driver and I hit 54 quite a bit short, had 40 feet. I was pretty nerve wracking putt. Um, I aimed probably a foot left and it went just past the hole, really good speed, so it really helped. In 18, I hit nine, pretty big off the toe, and this went just short left of the green, which is easy, really easy up and down to this pin. It's definitely a new pin, it's usually further back. Yeah. So I was definitely challenged. I was like, man, if I hit this too high, I can come off and roll off the green, or if I don't, it'll be just like I did. So I kind of envisioned it and visualized it to go that way, and thankfully, did. You know, uh, Sunday's Masters champion, Scotty Shuffler, has won this tournament, was a medalist here. Uh, Tiger Woods never was. John Rahm never was. The list of who's won is as great as the, the list of who hasn't. Yeah. You know, what does this, this tournament mean to you? I, I mean, you guys are such historians. You guys know about McKenzie and everything else. You know about the history, history of this tur tournament, I imagine, you know? Yeah, it really solidifies myself as a good putter. And not only is our team on Alistair McKenzie, because we used to play Meadow Club, and then sadly we withdrew out of that event, and now we play here as our only Alistair, and just unreal course, unreal place, and it just really solidifies your game. Your short game's got to be so on point. Not only that, but your irons have to be hitting the right spot every time with leaving under the hole or leaving with a makeable chip or something in that degree. So it just like solidifies your game, make sure you're on point. Definitely off the tee. I'm not hitting in the rough because the fairway is so rewarding. You can hit it, spin it, perhaps, or hit the shot you want rather than hit like a flyer out of the typical rough. What's your confidence like going into WCC and NCAA? WCC is really high. I mean, we're really good, again, as a team, and we won last year by quite a bit. I also tied for the lead, sadly lost in the playoff last year, so hopefully I can redo that and this time hopefully win after the back to back. So. I'm going to end on a negative question. Texas got this thing today by one stroke. How, how's that sit and what does that fuel you guys up for? That's really hard um, as a team. I mean, we really wanted to win. We had a quite a bit of incentive if we did win. Sadly, we didn't get that. But I mean, we just got to keep pushing forward. They're a stacked team. They got Pearson who's number one. And I uh, just got to compete with them and hopefully we see them again in match play and nationals. There you go. You guys have bragging rights from last year still. So yeah. congrats on that. Congrats on the tournament win. Good luck moving forward. Thank you.